Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Searching for Players podcast. We are back. We are rebooted, reloaded, and restored. As always, I am David, Player One, and joining me this week is Alex, Player Three. Player Three, how you doing? Doing well. How are you doing? You ready to do this? Yeah. Get it done. So it's been a few weeks now since C3. We've had time to uh, recoup, recover. Um, yep, and change your pants. Yeah, feel free to check it. back at our old videos. Um, if you notice, we have new mics. Anybody who watched our final E3 video, the recap, I actually didn't tell you this, the mic crapped out on us. It, The video's up. There's a lot of good information there, um, a lot of good uh, video taken from E3 and all that. But the sound is not spectacular. The mic was having some issues. I don't know what happened, but um, so we up we upgraded. We finally yes. decided to upgrade. So the mic's in a better pasture. Yes. We had a yes, pretty no. good funeral <laughs> for it. Um, um, it's but friends came from miles around. It has been a little time since E3. Yeah. So I want to judge sort of where your E3 hype has settled. Um, sort of what what games we saw and. Now you've had time to process it all. And some, yeah. you know, there's always that additional information that kind of trickles out uh, after all the conferences and stuff are over. Yeah. What's, um, what, what are you still hyped for? What are you looking for? So, you know, for me, Spider Man, like after looking at all that footage of stuff right. that's coming out like this year. So yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hold off on like the cyberpunks, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, some of those games that we know are kind of like on the horizon, like the Halos, the Gears, because right. those are going to be 2019. We know that. Like, right. Um, but for me, yeah, Spider Man looked great. Like, I knew I was going to probably buy it anyway, but after seeing it, seeing kind of more on it, like, yeah, day one, day one buy. Um, can't wait. Can't yeah, wait for sure. Spider Man's on my list as well. Yeah. It's going to be the uh, the uh, Batman, the Spider Man, or the Arkham Asylum. Of Spider-Man, Spider-Man games, yeah, so for sure. That's that's kind of what it looks like. So. Yeah, yeah. E three sold me. I think I may have said this on one of our podcasts, maybe the the Sony or something. But yeah, once I saw the footage at E three, that locked it in, and now yeah. I'm done. I don't want to know anything else. I just want to play the game in September when it comes out. Correct. Like I know, and we'll talk about this here in a little bit. Like Comic Con just released a new trailer. Like didn't even watch it. Yeah, I didn't watch like, it. Either. I, I don't know. I know they have some cool. Like I'm gonna have to pre order it. Just because I want those extra suits, the spidey right. suits, but yeah, I'm just that'll be one that sign me up. Me and half the world will be there playing yeah, that game. Absolutely. And at Comic Con this weekend, they also sh- I think this that's when they announced that uh, limited edition PlayStation uh, Three Pro, the yeah, PS4, the PS4, PS4 Pro. Yeah, Did I say PS3. Yeah. Ah, oh, they're going numbers. throwback. Yeah. Yeah. No, the PS4 Pro. Yeah, it's red. Has the the Spider Man emblem. It yeah. is pretty. I like the way the sexy. controller looks. Yeah, the the red and white controller or whatever that's yes. pretty cool yeah it's pretty nice oh, like yeah. if i mean i already have a ps4 pro i know i should upgrade but you but, don't and i do it would it would look cool because i have the red god of war ps3 so side by side it'd be kind of cool i mean you're just like selling it yeah <laughs> but um yeah i don't think i can justify right now so if you think me, david can to, justify <laughs> it put on the comments reasons why he needs to pre-order and buy <clears throat> It does the come with the game. PlayStation 4. It does. It comes so with like, the game too. I mean, yeah. you're already halfway there because right. you're going to buy the game anyway. Right. And I will admit that's when I have the collector's edition pre-ordered for. It comes with like So you have to buy stuff, the so. collector's edition and, and the, the PlayStation yeah. 4 Pro. Yeah, I'm sure the wife would love that. What else are you so still hyped other for? than that? So uh, Dragon Quest 11. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one. I mean, they showed a couple new videos. That's not a whole whole lot, but it's you know it's been a long. I mean, since probably Final Fantasy 15 that I kind of sat down. Well, that I take that back. That and Persona 5. Yeah, that I sit down, sat down and played like a really in depth RPG. But this is one. I mean, for me, it's been since like PlayStation Two days, Dragon Quest Eight. I know we both loved it since we kind of played that. So I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. Only thing that's like is I think it comes it comes out like three days after. Um, it's like Spider Man yeah. and, and Dragon Quest come out three days apart. I, mean, I don't know which one comes out first. Yeah, September and October are both packed yeah. full. Whatever game you're looking forward to, there's another game you're looking forward to like yeah, a week later pretty much. at least. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to that one. Cool. Um looking forward to Soul Calibur 6. Um that's on my list, yeah. They they uh, keep on they showed, you know, a little bit more, but they've announced new characters. So as of this video, they just announced Voldo. Yep. So, you know, the roster is rounding out nice. I'm curious to see cuz there's only been one new grow one new character so far. Right. Well, and um, 
and of course the uh, uh, Geralt or Geralt, 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 Geralt from Witcher but, from the Witcher. Yes, but yeah. that's actually what I'm curious about to see if they're going to announce any more like, like guest characters because yeah. you know there's still a couple characters. Uh, here's looking at you, Astroff. That like they haven't announced yet. You know, right. I know your girl Sung Mina. Um, yeah, unfortunately, she's kind of gotten downplayed in the last couple. I know. You know I know you're right. hoping. You're still hoping. I mean, why have a, a bow staff when you can have a spiked bow staff? Right. I, mean, I know it's technically <laughs> another weapon. Please don't send me hate mail. But uh, I mean, that's that's your girl, right? If you know. Yeah, there's still quite a few characters that have showed up in the series that have not, you know, been announced or whatever. So. Correct. So. Looking forward to but it. But yeah, definitely looking forward to that. They, at E3, I think that's kind of where we got some glimpses of the story mode, some of the single yes. player content and stuff. So I'm glad all that's in there. Because I feel like Soul Calibur sometimes would have it and then sometimes would have a very bare bones version of it. Yes, yeah. This, and then add it back and stuff. So this one definitely yeah. looks like it'll be a pretty, I don't know about lengthy, but a, you know, there's going to be a lot to do. So. Yes, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of how that works. Yeah. If only Pop... We'll make pop figures of it. You can have my money. You've really started to get into that, huh? No, not really. But like <laughs> those, there's a couple for like, specific franchises. Yes, like for Overwatch. For, I just, and, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a little upset. You know, way back in the day when they had them for like Soul Calibur two, didn't buy them, mm. and now I'm kind of going, I want a pop nightmare. Well, if they did you Soul know, Calibur before, they may you may see some. You know, I just want to see a pop figure. Well, they've never done them before. They've done Tekken oh, and stuff, okay. but like I'm talking about, like way back in the day, like McFarlane did. Oh right, like right, it right. wasn't uh, Funko. So right. like you know, give me some. Are you big, getting the limited edition of Soul Calibur Six? That comes I'm with getting the, the regular. Okay, because it comes with that figure of um, Sofatia. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I figure you are. I've got it pre-ordered. I haven't completely decided, but I, I may. He's decided. <laughs> He's gonna do it. Um, what else you got? Um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Right. So that's one. I mean, it's kind of on the fence, but I mean, they threw in everything. I think the Kitchen Sink is also a playable character now. Um, and it's going to be neat. I see what you did there. I did. Because they, <laughs> they have every character plus the chicken. Plus the chicken sink? Plus the chicken sink. That's, that's a bonus uh, costume. That is. It's the, the chicken. The Kitchen Sink. English is not so good. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think cool. that'll be pretty good. Give me uh, the Switch some love. So. Yeah, if you're a Smash Brothers fan, that Nintendo Direct was for you. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see what's still kind of coming out and all yeah. that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that one. I played the first two, or the, the reboot. Right. Obviously, Tomb Raider and, of course, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. So those are both some of my favorite games. Really liked them. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this one to see kind of where it goes from here. Yeah. Um, I'm actually more intrigued for this one after E3 than I was. Um, you know, a lot of the footage they'd show kind of looked like the other ones, nothing hugely different. But a lot of the people who were there that got hands-on time with it talked about some of the new, like, features, the new environments. There's, like, a whole huge city that you can yeah. explore and get side quests in and all this extra stuff that the other ones never really had that gets me more excited for this game. And I mean, I also, I haven't played the second one yet, but I did play the first one, really liked it. Yes. So if they're taking it to another level, that, you know, that's all you really, if you yeah. already like what's there and then they're, you know, ratcheting it up, that's great. So. Exactly. So now I do have to, because they're kind of my probably from E3, but there's two more kind of honorable mentions that mm-hmm. I would put on that list. They just weren't there. Right. So Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course. That's probably up there at my number one or two. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's, I love one of us here has not played Red Dead Redemption. I, know, I still haven't played I'm it. I'm calling you out. It's my game um, shame. I have played it. It was the first one was phenomenal. Like it's it's that good. You know, Grand Theft Auto Five. I got buddies that still play that game. Right. That are like, we're all gonna move over and play Westerns and play Red Dead Redemption Two online. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that game. Like that is that is one game that like hadn't seen much. They don't need to. It's gonna be awesome. That'll mm. be like. Yeah, I'll have to uh, get sick that week. Um, <laughs> Nobody from work's watching now that, now this. Now that you said it on record. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, you know, I'll start eating some like old moldy moldy food. You'd be like, uh, I'm saving some milk. I'm gonna leave it in there from now. I'll drink I'm it the week you in of the October. Hospital. You're gonna be playing Red Dead <laughs> yes. on the little hospital TV. Hey, I can just play and go <laughs> and keep on playing. That's what pause is for. Um, and then um, Dark Siders Three. They've recently started to show a little bit more of. Uh, I was a big fan of the first two. So played the first two, beat them. I mean, they were Zelda-esque. Yeah. I really, really liked them. You know, and then, of course, with THQ kind of going away, like I thought there was never going to be a chance that we'd see them again. And right. now with the third one, they've recently showed some stuff. 
Like I'm hyped for that game, playing as Fury. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's th- one I'm looking. It's a cool to. series. Has a very cool visual style. It has a very yes. cool, um, you know, I like the plot, the idea of it with the four horsemen of the apocalypse right. and all that stuff. Um, that yeah, that, that looks like a cool well, and it was game. always a shame because you know we got to play as War and Death, and right. it was like, well, we at least got to play as the other two, right. like you know. So this will be nice. So hopefully this one does well, and then they make the fourth game yes. and complete the series. So we'll exactly. See. So what about um, you? What are you? Uh, so we mentioned Spider Man, mentioned So Caliber, um, Resident Evil Two. Okay, that one. I mean, you know, there was all those rumors constantly that it was in development. Yes, um, seeing it at E three, and then after the conferences, seeing um, like people playing it and what the actual gameplay looked like. The more I've thought about that one, the more excited I am for that one. Um, I I never played like um, I never played the original Resident Evil Two. Okay, that's I've played the first one. I played zero. I played four, but two and three somehow I missed out on. Um, even played like Code Veronica. Oh yeah, yeah on, Dreamcast. on the Dreamcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I never played two. Always meant to, and this will give me the opportunity to experience it. But you know, upgraded, updated, and it looks really good. It does. Um, so I'm, that one actually kind of jumped up on my radar after E3 for sure. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, yes, yes. Again, I, I was worried. You know, they took a break. Assassin's Creed, uh, not Syndicate, uh, Origins came out. Yep. It was really good. And then, you know, next year they're following up with another one. And you were like... Starts to get a little nervous, yeah. Yeah. But it looks really good. I like the ancient Greek setting. Um, <laughs> Is it all those men in the tunic? Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's funny because I'm probably going to wind up playing as the female character. Okay. And I th- they haven't officially said this, but she may actually be the canon character oh, because really? there's a book coming out. Okay. And it ties in. It like takes place before the game, and she's the main character in the book. Interesting. So it may be that she's technically the canon character, but the story's basically the same, you know, gotcha. regardless of which version you play. But anyways, yeah. So it looks really good. I like that there's more dialogue options, some more RPG elements, things like that. So, and then this, I know some people are probably more psyched for uh, Sek- Sekiro, Sekiro, the new yes. um, from yep. software game and all yep. that. Sekiro. Some people, I think. I don't know. The one that's really got me pumped, Ghost of Tsushima. More so than a lot of those other games I've seen. It gives me Onimusha vibes. I like the fact that it seems like it's more grounded and realistic than Mm -hmm. some of these other like samurai games that are coming out. Um, Visually, just artistically, it looked amazing. It does. Like that one-on-one showdown at sunset with the fire in the background and arrows coming. It just, it looked really, really cool. It looked like a game I can lose myself in. You know, and it just, yeah, that that's one. And I know that one could be a ways off. They gave sure. us no dates or information on it. But that is that is firmly on my radar. I will be watching that one until it comes out, no matter how long it takes. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really psyched for that game. Um, so that's my five that I'm looking forward to. The I, I wanted to pick one game that I was curious about and E3 did not sell me on. Okay. This may be controversial. Uh-oh. Death Stranding. I, you know, I'm not that psyched. I mean, I'll probably get it when it comes out. Yeah. I'll play it. And it may be amazing. It may be awesome. It may be this great mind mess with you kind of game. But I just, I don't know. I, you it know, didn't look that interesting or exciting. You is know? it? I just feel it, like it's being weird to be weird. And it's like. Is just, it because we haven't seen enough? Because that's the thing, though. Because, I mean, part of it is it's kind of the mystique <coughs> with, with Hideo Kojima, right? Right. Like, you know, he loves, like, we're seeing things probably maybe before it's ready. But, you know, we keep on seeing it's At first, you're like, ooh, what is this? Well, by the eighth time, you're like, okay, we get it. It's going to be weird. Right. Like, what is it? No, and we did not, see, like, gameplay like, footage this time. But to that stuff. point, it was all, like, he, he climbed a mountain. Spoiler right. alert. It's like, like, we get that. Like, Mario's been doing that for, like, years. Right. Like, that's not anything, like, like what is it? What is it? How is it going to play? Is it a stealth game? Is it an action game? We don't know that. So to your point, like, and I think uh, that's why E three didn't sell me, correct? Because they didn't answer any of those questions. Yeah. They pretty much just added more questions. Yeah. And I just, I'm not, you know, there are certain creators I like and stuff, and I mean, you know, I like Kojima, but I don't have this like, I don't want to say blind loyalty, but just this sort of fanboy idea that whatever they make is going to be awesome. Correct. It's like you still, I still want to, you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because of your previous work. Yes. But. Well, because Metal Gear Solid 5 was phenomenal. You haven't played it. I have not. Okay. Metal Gear Solid 5 I've played some of the older ones, but I haven't. But it was a completely different type of game. Right. I mean, but Metal Gear Solid 5 was phenomenal. Right. 
But to your point, though, it's like at this point, it's like we get it, but you need to show us something. So I don't know if it's he's trying to hide. He doesn't want to show us because sometimes less is more, right? Not yeah. seeing everything. Yeah, yeah. But it's like what he's shown us isn't like selling the high points, right? So right. no, I would agree. Like it's and like it, I said, I don't. And I'm not saying I think the game is going to be bad or anything, but my hype level is definitely kind of down after yeah. E3 no, and everything. See that. So, but uh, was there any game that you were kind of like? Eh, after E3 or nothing. Um, for me, the, the probably the the biggest one because it, it's with Kingdom Hearts three. Mm-hmm. Like, so I'm still probably going to get it. Like, I love the first two. Right. When I say the first two, I'm talking about like, you know, back before it was one point five and one point or two point five and one eighteenth and three quarters right. divided by twelve. <laughs> like when it was like just <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts, like in the, the first and second one. Right. I really like those games. Uh, this one looks gorgeous. I'm glad they have new worlds. My concern, though, is like everything else is updated. I think except for like the battle system. The battle system seems straight out of the PS2 days, right. which isn't bad. But and the camera is straight out of it looks like the PS2 days. But that's right. what kind of worries me with all the other enhancements. Like, is that going to hold up? You know, after playing, you know, like the Dragon Quest, that's still old school, but it's kind of like emerged a little bit. Or like Persona. Uh, Persona 5 and like Final Fantasy 15 that are kind of emerging and changing with what we think of an RPG all right even like you know uh, Elder Scrolls like this one seems to be pretty stuck back in you know like PS2 right. day so I'm a little kind of on the fence with it like I'm sure it'll be good like I'm sure but I mean it's been well, and I a remember I think when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out I remember reading a review for the PS2 so this was a while ago but I remember reading a review that said this game is good it's fun it, there's lots of fun stuff to do, but like 90% of the battles, they just got through by hitting the same button over and over uh-huh. and over again. And yeah, in this day and age, I don't know how well that will Correct. go over. Well, I mean, and, and spoiler, we both love God of War. Yeah. But like after playing like the new God of War, which the combat, like, like man, I I'll, I just I'll blow it uh like load it up and play like Nafelheim, mm-hmm. which that's all I'll say. You know, I play that for like 30, 40 minutes just because the combat's so much fun. Yeah, it's satisfying. It, it is. That yeah. and the Infinity Gauntlet, which you got to try it. It's just, <laughs> it's so cool when you get the one with the meteor storming down. Mm-hmm. Like, ooh. It's, it's just, oh, I mean, I get giddy playing that. Like, if I have to play SX, that's a little concerning for yeah. me. Gameplay is king. So we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's always interesting to kind of think about E3 a few weeks later, see yeah. what last information trickles down or whatever um also and some of this was announced at e3 some of this has been announced in the weeks following uh a lot of collector's editions were yep. announced during e3 some were after e3 do you my question basically is do you think they've kind of started to get out of control with these collector's editions and i'll tell you right now if you've seen any of my like my unboxing videos and stuff i mean i'm a sucker for these <laughs> but even i'm starting to get like this is a little much well so i i got off the the sucker train. I'm kidding. I, I stopped doing the collector's edition like a while ago, just because not because I didn't think they were neat, but I just didn't have enough room for all of it. Yeah. So and it's like, what do you do with it? Do you, correct. Yeah. I mean, and they're neat. Some of them don't, like, don't get me wrong, but you know, on some of these, especially like, you know, they're getting up to $200. Like that's three games. Well, and that's, that, that's kind of my point. Like, um, they just announced, I don't know if you saw this, I think at the, right before this weekend, they announced the Resident Evil four, um, uh, four Resident Evil two remake collector's edition. Okay. Comes with, um, a physical art book. Okay. The deluxe edition of the game, which includes a bunch of DLC. So like okay. costumes for the characters, maybe I'm a couple little extra missions. See if it hits your trifecta. Um, a digital soundtrack. Eh, yeah, I'm gonna count that. And then a like sort of poster looking thing that is a blueprint of the the Raccoon City police station. Okay. And then it comes with a foot tall, twelve inch figure. Okay, there you go. Of Leon Kennedy. So there is your trifecta. Well, my true trifecta is a physical soundtrack, digital is borderline, okay. a physical art book, and a steel book. That's really all. I oh, need. the steel book. Right. There's oh. no steel book. Okay, they had you at the steel book, huh? Right, but they didn't. There is no steel book for this one, and the figure. I mean, I don't know. You really need a f- foot tall version of Leon Kennedy standing around. I mean, I mean, if you're a big Resident Evil fan, I get it. I like Resident Evil, but I'm not a huge fan, and it's two hundred dollars. And to me, that's overpriced for what comes that's in. That's a it. lot. To me. Now, it sometimes depends on the, the 
the statue, the figure, there are different qualities of them. If this is a nice figure, it may justify that price. I don't know. The God of War Collector's Edition, to me, was like that sweet spot. The figure was a good size. It was good quality. And the price, I think it was like 150 And then, of course, doing like Best Buy, I got it at 20% true. off. So. But you can get a little Funko figure for like 12 bucks. I know. I know. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then the big one, well, and they're like this big. There is the Spider Man Collector's Edition coming out. I think it's 150. The Dragon Quest uh, Collector's cool. Edition yeah, is huh. 150. Um, and a lot of these to me are borderline on whether or not, and it depends on what these things are worth to you. Sure. But to me, like the Dragon Quest doesn't quite make it. Uh, the big one, and I don't know if you saw this, the Darksiders 3 we were talking about, mm-hmm. there is a $150 version. Comes with the steel book, the art book, the soundtrack, okay, and a figure of the new Horseman, uh, Fury. Fury. There is a four hundred dollar collector's edition coming out that includes all of that, plus three more figures of uh, War, of Death, and um, a Strife. No, no, no. There's not a fourth Horseman. That's the thing. It's like another character from the game, some skinny demon character, maybe the shopkeeper or something like that. I oh, because they probably hadn't released the right. They haven't. They've never shown or revealed the fourth Horseman. So it's like one. You should have waited until the fourth game. This is like correct. That would have been the big culmination. You get your four figures of all the Horsemen. I mean, because that is kind of neat. Because they are really cool. But to your point, like, are they going to release the fourth one that's going to have that? fourth horseman right right um and i mean it is like i said earlier it's a cool visual game the the artist that worked on it joe madeira i don't never know how to pronounce his last name he's a comic book artist yeah um he did the battle chasers and all that um so to see those in statue form would be cool but four hundred dollars that's a lot of games yeah I mean, you you can buy an entire console for that. Yeah. You well, buy, I don't make you collector. Switch, I don't, as you, you say, I don't collect. Cl- I don't make collector edition money. Right. <laughs> I make I make standard edition money. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just that's just too much. And I just I wonder when companies start doing this, are they, they taking it? Adva- yeah, that's the thing. Are they taking advantage of their fans? Is this how they're trying to make sure their their games turn profit? Is like, if you're a true fan, you'll buy our. Well, you know, Uber, but. You know, hey, if people are going to buy them, more power to them. If that's I mean, what's going to allow them to build another game. Because the difference there, though, I'd prefer that than like some of the DLC kind of loot box stuff that they do. Yeah, this because, is up front. Here's what you get for your money versus on the back end. Correct. Oh, if you want that armor, pay. Well, and you but you know about it, but it's not affecting the game, right? Like if you if you're that much of the fan of the game and you want the you know the four statues. Um, and you want the soundtrack, you you want that art book, then go for it, right? right? But for everybody else, it's just like I just want to play the story and you know love it. Just you get know? the game because uh, you know I'll tell you, like you know we both love God of War. You mm-hmm. you got the collector's edition. It's true, yeah. You know I bought the twelve dollar little Funko, <laughs> and I'm but like we both love the game. We right. both like it's awesome game. Yeah, yeah. You know it just works for us that way. But yeah. I'm okay with it. I mean, it sucks for you because I, I know you're twitching. Cause, well, yeah, part of me is like, oh, man, I really want that. Yeah. No way am I spending that. So yet. if you'd like to start a fund to yeah. help David get that. That would be amazing. <laughs> you're going to have to buy two because it's only fair that I get one. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Spread the love. So, yeah, $800. That's our goal. Start now. We'll get a little like, like a little like like a a little little chart thing in the back. And as we get nothing, right. the, it'll the little stay little empty pretty quick. Up. Yeah. So it's just interesting. It's just interesting yeah. to see. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, so changing gears a little bit, something I just want to talk about because I'm always a huge fan, uh, Evo, okay, which is the big fighting game tournament that happens uh, every year in Las Vegas. Yep. Uh, usually there's eight games that mm-hmm. are all the main tournaments. Sometimes there'll be other games there played on the side and stuff. Uh, you'll probably see Soul Calibur VI there being shown off, demoed and stuff. Uh, it's August 3rd through August 5th. The interesting thing that just was announced because they just closed registration and all that to okay. get everything set up. Since 2012, since Street Fighter 4 came out, Street Fighter has always had the most entrance, whether it was Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5, or multitude of versions of Street Fighter 4, has always had the most you know people sure. playing that game. This year, it finally, Street Fighter 5 was knocked down to second. Number one, Dragon Ball Fighters had more registers. They had 2,530 people sign up to play that. Street Fighter had 2,421, so roughly 100 more people. I can see that. So it's just interesting, Dragon Ball, which came out this year. It is a new game. That helps it. Um, 
managed to pass. Yeah, I could see that. Street but, Fighter. Uh, but see, here's the reason. Like, I like Street Fighter Five. Mm-hmm. I like Street Fighter Four better. I think I did too. So, but here's why. And you saw it with Mortal Kombat. Like mm-hmm. the characters, and I think a lot of it comes back to nostalgia. Like adding new characters is a very tricky thing, right? right. So, like Street Fighter Four did it well because it had all your by the by the end of it, right? By Super Street Fighter Four Turbo Arcade Edition, whatever it was, right? Um, it, it had all the main characters, and they had a couple new characters that had kind of started to like, okay, like Yuri, right? Mm-hmm. Like that were really cool that you're like, okay, yeah. I feel like Street Fighter Five, like I mean, we just now, like I don't think Blanca's out yet, right? Or did he uh, just Blanca came, is out? He just was actually came the out. second. Okay, he just Cody came out. literally just came just out. came out, and then Sagat is supposed to be the end of the season. But or to that point, like there's still some of those main stalwarts that you still don't have, right. and like yes, yeah, a lot of it are new characters, which is neat. But if they don't have, like, they're having, like, those new characters have to be so cool that they, like, overcome, or their playing styles have to be so good that they overcome, like, years of, like, nostalgia for some of these old characters. Mm-hmm. Like, you saw, like, you know, Street Fighter, like, well, I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat, like, 9, where it was, you know, the Mortal Kombat. Right. Like, bringing back all those characters, like, that's probably the pinnacle of the series, I'd say. Like, as good as Mortal Kombat 10 was, like, I like some of those characters were really, really cool. But they didn't all hit. Like, there were a couple that you're like, eh. Yeah. Right? So, like, it's always a gamble having, yeah. look at Soul Calibur Five. same thing. They yeah. threw them out and had all new characters. And then they're like, yeah, that didn't work. So we're going to bring back all the characters you love. Right. Like, there's a reason. Like, nobody was going, man, they brought back Voldo. Everybody was like, yeah, it's about time. Like, he wasn't, like, that's tough. So I think that may be part of it that kind of goes to that. And Dragon Dragon Ball has... Like everybody like knows the characters, right? I mean, that's what gets you to start playing it, right? Mm-hmm. And, Plus, dra- and and fighters is definitely a easy to pick up and play, difficult to master yes. kind of game. So like you can just jump in and start hitting buttons and you'll have fun. Yeah. So I think there's definitely a popularity there. Plus it's on every console, whereas Street Fighter was a PlayStation, PlayStation. exclusive. Correct. So that you know, so that does tell you a little bit too. So right. so both impressive, right? But mm-hmm. I think there's I think that I could see that. Like, and don't get me wrong, I think Street Fighter V is great. Yeah. But also, too, that's an investment because, and, 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 and it's only because it's been out, but, like, you have to buy, like, you know, the expansion passes or the season passes, right? We're now on season pass three. Right. It's quite a bit. Like, if you've bought all three, I think, what, they're normally, like, 30 bucks a piece? I think they're 30 when they first launched. So that's, yeah. like, 90 bucks plus the, the $60 game, and right. that's $150, like, they're, that's one of David's collector's edition. Right. <laughs> you know? Like, so that's an investment. Not yeah. everybody's going to have all and those characters. I think Fighters has the one season pass for 30 or 40, but that's it. Then you get all, you know, you don't, there's not multiple seasons. Well, they are so. making a new season. Oh, they are? They, they have announced okay. they are looking at doing a season two. So, interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's been popular enough that so, it makes sense, but... But, we'll but I just thought that was really interesting. And just to kind of give you perspective, like Street Fighter Five, I said at 2,421, mm-hmm. the next closest is Tekken 7. And it has 1,504, so it's like a 900-person oh, wow. difference. Um, all the way down at the bottom in the eighth spot is Injustice 2 with 350. Really? So it kind of gives you a, an idea of the difference oh, of that's people. That's interesting. So. People aren't a fan of the Injustice Well, thing. and, it, I mean, it made you know made the cut, obviously, and it was, I guess there were a lot more people. I don't know the number, but there were a lot more people last year. Of course, that's when Injustice 2 had just come out. Sure. Um, and because of all the rumors of Mortal Kombat, Usually that Injustice crowd will then move to Mortal Kombat just because the games are similar, made by the same yeah. company. So, you know, Mortal Kombat may be at the next Evo and Injustice gotcha. will be out. So, um, Well, and then, of course, the other thing we talked about was um, we were talking about E3 hype, things we're looking forward to, all the stuff coming up. What I kind of want to talk about real quick is what we're thinking of games so far this year. Okay. What your thoughts are on what could be game of the year. I think I know your answer. I it's probably the same of your the same your answer. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would say it was uh, Monster Hunter until April twentieth, because that's when God of War came out. Yeah. Uh, and I think it'll stay God of War until early September, maybe October, because that's when Spider Man or Red Dead Redemption Two. Yeah. I mean, I think you and you and I are on the exact same page on this. Um, Spider-Man and Red Dead, I think, are going to be the two that will give God of War the competition. I think yeah. you're going to see, like, at the end of the year, when everybody does their Game of the Year specials, those three games, unless yeah. one of them just, you know, drops the ball, 
will be the three contested what's game of the year. Yeah. Yeah, and and what's interesting too, right? Like and none of those are serialized uh, entries. What what well, I mean by well annualized annualized entries. No, yeah, let you're me, right. Let me rephrase There's definitely that. Been Sorry. A big gap. An, let me annualized yeah, cuz this is like the 7th God of War game, but you're right. It's been like what, 5 6 years since Ascension or something. It, so I mean, I thought it was been 2006. Wait, no, when did no, Ascension no, no. come out? Ascension was on PS3. Okay. And that was like know. five or six years ago. So Okay. It's been about six yeah. years back. And that's not counting the God of War 3 HD release or whatever, but yeah, for PS4. But yeah. So I'm sorry. That's what I meant. It's, right. And it's not like an Assassin's Creed or. Right. You're not getting something a, a that you're seeing on Battlefield. Yeah. Um, which that's very interesting because I feel like some of those games, to your point, except with maybe the, the uh, exception of like Assassin's Creed. Hasn't been a whole lot of hype for that I've seen. Like the Call of Duty, the new Black Ops Four, mm-hmm. or Battlefield Five, are kind of like ah, you know, they'll play them. But am I like hyped for? No. Yeah, this like may the be re- the first year that those games. Well, I'm, Battlefield may do all right, but we'll see. This may be the first year that Call of Duty maybe struggles a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So, but yeah, yeah, God of War. Yeah, it's, to me, it's God of War. I mean, right now, if I had to say what was out there, it'd probably be God of War, easily number one. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought Monster Hunter was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think about Dragon Ball Fighters came out this you know yeah Dragon year. Ball Fighters I'd probably put up it's there. Good, yeah. uh, I thought the, the remake of Shadow of the Colossus was good, mm-hmm. but that wasn't. I mean, that's not going to make the top five. You know, right. I, I really think for me it'll be Spider Man, Red Dead Redemption, and of course, right God of War. Because I mean, like Yakuza Six is good, probably not going to stay in like the top five. Sure, uh, uh, Nino Kuni Two. Solid RPG. Yes. Not going to stay in the top five, you know. Um, yeah, there's definitely been some good games this year already. Um, but, yeah. Did Mario Mario Kart came out for the Switch? Last year. Last year? Okay, I couldn't remember. Um, yeah, so, I, I yeah. God of War, you know, if you're a fan of action games, you're a fan of open world style yeah. stuff, go play it. I think it broke the internet because everybody's like YouTube in it, like showing it. It's Well, and everybody's using it because, you know, there's all those, you know, People say single player is dead and all that, and then yeah. they sold like three million copies yeah. in the first like, whatever. Yep, nope, not anymore. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's. I mean, that comes back if you make if you make it and it and, and you make it good. well. Yeah, they will play. Yeah, because there's so, zero zero multiplayer aspect to correct. this game. And but you don't need to like that is one of those games. I think we both talked about it where we're both like, yeah. I mean, one of us <clears throat> has already platinumed it. Yes, 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 yes. I one of us is going to. I'm going to do it. Right. Like I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Um, but it's like, great we game want. From we want to, end. to and it's not, experience all of it. It's not that it's like you know, it has small problems. I had some a few issues with invisible walls, areas where it looked like I could walk on that ledge, and I just couldn't for no reason other than there's an invisible wall stopping you. Sure. Um, it did glitch on me once or twice. Nothing game breaking, but just little things. You're like, oh, look at that. You know. Um, yeah, I lost. I left. Uh, was it Atreus once? Uh huh. Yeah, I left him. I was all like <laughs> trying to like. I was like shoot my arrows. I'm like, where are you, kid? Like, this is why we have father son issues because right. you're not following me. Like, told you. And to- it's and it's funny if when you're on the main lake area, mm-hmm. if you're looking from a high enough vantage point, all the docks. If you're far enough away from where you docked, you can see your boat at multiple ones. That's just the way they're just all just and, hanging out. <laughs> and, it, and it makes sense that way. No matter where you go, you don't have to like try to figure out how to get can back to your boat. I mean, it's not like you can call your boat. It's not a horse. Right, right. You're not <laughs> I mean, that'd be awesome. Be like you, you have your call your boat power. Like, right. You whistle and then like your boat kind of like, come. So there you go. See, yeah. I could have fixed that real quick. <laughs> but, Mirror with a little orange. But these are, these are like, little things that you're just trying to find, you know, problems with this game. I mean, it's such a good game. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, so I think we're both, you know, agreed on that. Um, and you know what? I think that's going to do it for today. I think All that right. kind of wraps up our podcast. Yeah. Um, we're going to be coming back with more more of these. We'll be back at some point with the what you've been watching, what you've been playing. Yep. And we'll also be back with player two and four. Yes. They're still here. They're we still have not around. hidden them anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Scheduling they just been they, they got tired of us. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> <They need laughs> we get tired really of us. really long break. Yes. Um, yeah, they'll be back. Cool. And this, and this of course, is the the uh, what's the word for it? The doldrums of gaming news after E3. Yeah. There's very little going on for a while. I mean, there's Madden coming out. 
And they did announce the Madden cover yes. athlete, Antonio, uh, Antonio Brown, Brown yep. who was voted the second best player in the NFL right behind Tom Brady, Yes, who was the cover athlete last year. So Correct. I don't think they could do that again. But yeah. um, I mean, you would have been happy. Yeah, you know, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> but I may actually play this year. I oh. haven't played Madden in a long time. You want time, to play Madden this year, huh? So I may Why actually, is that? What? Honestly, what the real has, reason is my brother's getting it, and okay. so he's just going to, I think, digitally share it with me. Gotcha. So... Because we game share on Xbox, so okay, so I'll have cool. access to it. And he's you can game play share with Xbox? me yeah. with one person. Yes, oh, did yeah. That. I'll explain it to you after the uh, okay. podcast. How to do that? Um, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, like subscribe if you don't know who we are. Basically, we're we're people who love games. We love nerd and geek culture, and uh, you know we try to like our like our name of our site, searching for players. We're always trying to welcome in new players. Yeah, normally our player four, she's not here. She's our non gamer. So she's new gamers, uh, eyes and ears into this world. Yes. Yeah. She we has, like beards as well, too. I don't know if you yes. know this. We like beards. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's that came that's out our really thing. awkward. No, Sorry. That's, that's our thing. You know, that's our uh, style. Yeah. Players two and four do not have beards. No, they don't. Um, but that'll do it. So like I said, like, subscribe, share us with your friends, and uh, we will catch you on the next podcast. Bye. Bye.